Welcome back to Joel's Bench. My name is Greg Perugini, and again, we're going to do a lab here, and the lab is Power and Ohm's Law. So in this lab, we're beginning our experiment in electricity. In your kit, you have several components that you can use, and what we have, and what we're going to show here, is we have a multimeter, we have a um, several alligator clips. I also have a resistor, and we'll see that in our slide. A power supply, just a simple AAA battery and its holder. So, back to the slide. We're going to be testing our resistors with the multimeter, confirming Ohm's law, and doing a power calculation. So you can see here, we've hooked up the multimeter with the clips and the battery as shown here, and I'm getting a voltage as shown, as you would expect for this type of battery, it's 1.5 volts. And as you can see, I have hooked up the positive to the positive side, the negative to the negative side. And you can see clearly here, you can download the slides as, as well, that we're testing for voltage on the multimeter. Here's a better position where you can see here, I put this up to the 20 here, have these hooked into the bottom two, and you can see. So that's a good way for us to test that our battery and our power supply is working. So, what we can do with this power supply is also test uh, the in addition to testing the power supply, I should say, we can also, with the multimeter, find out the resistance of our particular uh, resistors that we have in the kit. You should have several resistors in the kit. Here, I have it hooked up and I'm going to set to this mark here. And I'm reading 68.7 ohms of resistance. Now, you need to verify that with the color marking. It may be hard to see on the resistor, and we could get a real close-up view, but I'll have that in the slide, is that each resistor is color-coded with different stripes of different values. So, for that one particular band, you can see here, if I have a 10 ohm resistor, I have a red, a black, and an orange, and I can use those codes to put the numbers together to tell me what the resistance is. This particular resistor I have here, you can see as I'm reading it, and it's a close up view, I have a blue, I have a gray, I have a black, a silver, and a red. So we have five bands on this particular resistor. Yours should also have five bands. So let's take a look and see. Okay, blue is six, gray is eight, black is zero. That gives me 680. The next band is gold, which says I should multiply it by 0.1, so that comes to 68. It has a positive, negative, a tolerance of plus or minus 2% based on the red band here. And as you can see in our test here, we came up with 68.7, just about right, plus or minus the 2% the tolerance, as I mentioned. For your lab, you need to show your work of ver verification of one of your resistors. Now, we're also going to build a very simple circuit. Now, that simple circuit, I'm going to just hook this up here. And you'll have it hooked up as well in your system. But I have the resistor with the power supply in a circuit with my multimeter as part of that circuit. So here's my resistor, here's the power supply. If we look here, here's our power supply, and here's 
is our resistor. And we can figure out, using Ohm's law, the amount of current. Amperes, and we use I for current. So I'm still using that 68.7 resistor in this. There it is, a picture there. I checked the voltage again, and I got a 1.44 voltage that, according to Ohm's law, the amperes, the amperage must be uh, I amps is equal to the volts divided by the resistance, 1.44 divided by 68.7, should give me 0.021 milliamps, or 0.012 amps, I should say, 21 milliamps. So there's my hook up there, but notice, huh, I'm reading 18.8. Well, why is that, do you think? Well, the battery, of course, has some internal resistance itself. Also, all these wires have a little bit of internal resistance itself. So that's going to reduce, by Ohm's law, reduce the amount of current by way of more resistance. Now, each resistor, of course, dissipates energy in the form of heat as per its resistance. And we can calculate that as via power. The power is the rate of dissipation for a particular resistor. We can take the voltage squared divided by the resistor to get the amount of power dissipation. So, I want you to test and verify your resistors. An image is needed for that. You need to calculate amperes using Ohm's law and verify with a simple circuit. You need an image of that as well. And for that simple circuit, calculate the power output of one resistor. And that's the lab. If any questions, you can just certainly hit me on email or ask the rest of the class, and good luck.